even if you've taken all the care in the world to make sure that your derailleur is properly tensioned, properly adjusted, that your chain guide is properly set up to keep your chain on, you know, you've done every little thing that you can do. Sometimes your bike just still doesn't stay in gear or won't want to shift. So, you know, we call it skipping. Or, you know, call it a lot of other things too. But for the sake of this, we're going to call it skipping. And um, what we want to do is we want, I want to show you where to look for causes of skipping. Uh, one thing to do is slowly go through the cog set. No, excuse me, I've got to go through the other way. But we want to go through the cog set and we want to look by sighting down, we want to look for a cog that's out of whack. Something that's bent, or like bent over, clogged with mud, or also we can look to see if we have any broken teeth. So everything looks good on this one. Sometimes the teeth look broken or different because they've put a lot of research and development into profiling these things so they shift quickly. But that looks pretty good. So then the other thing we want to do is we want to examine the chainring teeth to see if they're hooked, to see if they have any abnormal wear patterns or anything like that that, that could cause skipping. So this is a fairly new chain ring, it looks like. I'm running it through. I see some wear, but it all looks fairly benign. If things start to get severely hooked or peaked or start to look like a shark fin where one side is still solid and the other side is worn away, it's time to replace. But, yeah, we look pretty good here. So, you know, just sight down from the top, see if everything looks straight. So, I'm pretty happy with that, too.